Hey guys, it's Francis. Welcome back to my channel. I am back. I have a haul for you guys today from Michael's. I thought we'd start off the new year with a haul. So yeah, it's just, it has been so crazy. I have not been able to film. I had, that, well that's why I did have two videos filmed for you guys uh, like in December, but I never was able to edit them. So it's just... It's just, it's just been crazy. Um, so, I, and I haven't been at home is, is the thing. It's not even like that it's been crazy. It's just that I was house sitting for a couple weeks and now I'm house sitting again for my sister. So the setup is going to be really different um, because I'm trying to film at her house. So I have like this really weird <laughs> set up hopefully the camera angle is going to be okay and I am using natural light which I think is okay um it looks okay from my point of view so hopefully it looks okay from you guys' point of view but anyway we're going to start off with a haul I went to Michael's um whenever they were having their 60% off sale so I did pick up a few things and I did pick up a new planner. So I'll start off with that. This is the planner that I'm gonna be using for 2019. It's the free spirit um, planner. And I had actually been eyeballing this for a while. I just didn't get it because I knew that they were, I knew Michaels was gonna have that 60% off at the end of the year. So I was like, I'm gonna just wait to get one and buy it then because it's gonna be a lot cheaper. <clears throat> So I I was using the student planner from Target, but I kind of got tired of it. Not tired of it. I just, I, I didn't really like the little boxes anymore. So I wanted to switch to a new planner. And this one I like because it has the empty boxes. Like, you know, there's not a lot of color. So I don't have to worry about, wow, the, the, the color is really throwing it off. I don't have to worry about, um like matching colors to this. I was originally thinking about getting the watercolor planner. I thought the watercolor planner was really pretty. I really liked that one, but I knew I was gonna have a hard time trying to decorate the weeklies with all those colors, you know what I mean? But now I'm like, maybe I should have gotten it since it was 60% off. But anyway, this is the one that I went for. I love, you guys know I love like, I mean, I feel like it's a fad right now, too, but um, the whole, like, stars and constellations stuff. So, I'll just flip through this real quick if you have not seen it. It says, Hey, Moonchild. And then it has your 2019-2020 year, year at a glance. And then um, this is what's different. So, before, on the other planners, it has, like, the currently page. Let me move this out of the way. All right, so in other planners, they have like the currently page and this one just has notes and then birthdays and special days. So I'm trying to figure out like what exactly I'm gonna use this for. I still wanna do like a currently page, but I'm thinking I will do that in a different planner, which I will get to in a minute. So yeah, so I'll just run through the tabs real quick. And that's it. And then the um, the only thing about these is that they do have like a color at the top. So that might be a challenge. But I think for the most part it'll be okay. I think like the colors on here are pretty much colors of the season. You know like October is orange. So I think that might be fine. Um, the rings are different. These aren't the rings that came with this planner. So these are metal rings. And the, the rings that came with this planner were just regular like the regular plastic rings. It's actually this one. So I just switched out the rings because I really wanted the metal discs on my regular planner. This is the an, another planner I bought. This. So for this one, I'm not exactly sure how I'm gonna use it. So I had a planner that I bought from, it was a happy planner that I bought from Costco a couple years ago. It was a two year planner. I have that on my channel somewhere. I will link it down below for you guys if I remember. So it was a happy planner and it was a two year planner. 
And I ended up using that as my prayer and gratitude journal. So it was a vertical planner and I would just use that. So I was using that for the past two years and now the two years are over. And I picked this one up mainly, I'm not gonna lie, I picked it up mainly because I wanted the rings for the other, for my other planner. And also I was like, well, uh, I could use the pages if I really wanted to do, you know, um, prayer and gratitude in here. It's just a little different than the way that I did my other one that I did in my other planner. If that's making any sense. Wow, I'm really rusty. So I don't really know how I'm going to use this yet. If I'm going to use it the way they have it set up here or if I'm going to change it up a bit. But I do like this, this sheet. So I might just add like these sheets to... To, to my regular planner or I might I may even just add like this a monthly section to my other planner at a time I don't know yet I haven't decided how I'm gonna set up my other planner yet um but I will definitely show you guys when that happens so I will go ahead and just flip through this one um really quickly if you guys haven't seen it All right, and that was it for this planner. All right, and the last planner that I got was this one. It's a big happy planner, and I loved the cover on this. I'm not gonna lie, at first I was like, what am I gonna use this planner for? <laughs> but I got it because I was like, okay, I'm for real, for real gonna try and do memory planning this year. I know I've been saying that for the longest, and I still, I have like memory planners like I have a memory planner for last year that's like just empty that I want to catch up on. But this year I kind of do want to get on track and actually start doing it. And I just thought this would be perfect. So the only thing about this planner is that it is horizontal, which I feel like it will be fine. I feel like I've seen other people do memory keeping spreads in a horizontal planner. I think I'm just so used to seeing them in vertical, but I actually... I feel like it might be better because of the lines. It'll give me like room to write. So yeah, we'll see how that works out. But I really want to get on track with memory keeping. So look out for those videos. Um, but yeah, I really just like, I just, I just like the way this one looks. And this one has a currently page. So I think since I'm not going to be doing that in my other, in my main planner, that I'll just do it in here. Okay, so, sorry, the angle is so bad. I feel like I can't get everything on here. So this was the planner that I was using for the past couple months. You guys are familiar with it. So I still might do, here, let me flip to a page. Okay, so like in this currently page, I cut out, okay, so this is gonna be hard for me to explain. So this currently page, was from the original planner that I was using in 2018, the one that I bought at the beginning of the year. And I then I started using this purple planner, the Target Student Planner, but I think for the October, I didn't like that Currently page. So what I did is I took the Currently page from my original 2018 planner, and then the Currently page from the this Target planner, and I cut, I used, I used that Currently page, and then I cut this out of, the target planner. Is that making sense? I hope that's making sense. So what I'm trying to say is I, I would probably still do the same thing for this planner and just kind of cut bits and pieces from the extra planners that I have. Cause this, this planner I think goes up to August. So I'm still going to have planner pages from that. And I'll probably alternate that with, um, my other planner as well. But anyways, this is what the currently page looks like. And I will just go ahead and flip through this one really quickly. And then, like I said, this is all horizontal.
And that's it. You know what's funny is that I saw this quote right after I bought all that stuff from Michaels. And I was like, well, dang, they could have told me this beforehand. <laughs> but it's okay. I do want to go on a lot of adventures this year. So hopefully we'll have a whole bunch of things to put in this memory planner for this year. All right, moving on, I did pick up the Happy Planner Box Punch. This came out to $7.99, so I had to grab it. I was like, I need to get this because when this first came out, I was like, I don't need that. I can just cut the boxes. I don't need to spend money on it. And then after a while, I got tired of cutting them dang boxes to size. And I was like, I need to get one of those Happy Planner box punches. But I didn't want to pay the $20 for it, you know? So when they had that 60% off, I was like, I'm going to go ahead and get it. Because if I don't get it now, I'm never going to get it. So I went ahead and picked one of these up. The only thing is that I think it, it cuts it to size of like with the headers. Like the the box is only as big as the white part and it doesn't cover the headers, I think. I have to double check. So if that's the case, that might suck because I got the the planner with without the headers, you know. So I'm going to test this out and we'll see how that works out. And then next, I picked up some stickers from Chrissy and Designs. And I had been eyeballing these, but I didn't get them when they first came out because um, I was trying not to spend a lot of money like when these came out. But then when they had that, the 60% off sale, these were, I think came out for to like $2, $2. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and get them. So I only grabbed these two. They had, I think a couple other ones left, but it was like for school and I'm not in school. So I didn't need that one. And then the other ones, I forget what it was. I think it was just one that I didn't need. So I just grabbed these two. And I will go ahead and show you guys this one. And I'm not a mom, but um, I could use the other one of these. So I thought, you know, I should just go ahead and get it. And you guys have probably already seen these because I know like they were like, when these first came out, everyone was looking for them. I'm surprised I even found these because I am in a planner group for my city and they had were talking about had anyone found these and I guess everyone in that planner group was on the hunt for them when well when they first came out so maybe that's why maybe they made more and just they already got all of it I don't know and these are the second ones and I love like this is um doodles from that lady um what's her name Cindy Cindy something I'll link her channel or her name somewhere on here, but I watch her videos and I'm just like, the way that she writes and doodles is just magic. I don't understand how people can do that. Like, teach me your ways. So yeah, so those were the ones that I got. All right, lastly, is this the last stuff? I think so, yeah. So I picked up some sticker books because they were $7.99 on sale and I was kind of upset because, well, not, not really upset, but you know, I was kind of upset because I was on Instagram and everyone had gotten like the new sticker books on sale and the Michaels that I went to didn't have any of the new sticker books. I don't know if maybe I just got there late or if they just hadn't put them out, but I was really looking forward to getting $7.99 new sticker books and they didn't have it. And I was just so upset because everyone on Instagram had gotten them for $7.99, but it's fine. But anyway, I picked up four and I picked up the Brights sticker book. I hadn't even really looked at, I mean, I remember this coming out but I hadn't really looked at them until I was at the store that day. And I was like, oh, this is kind of cute. So I just went ahead and got this. And um, yeah, I, I mean, I don't really have much to say <laughs> about this. I just like the colors in it. I don't think I flipped through that correctly. And then I picked up the super mom one. And I'm like I said, I'm not a mom. But I think that this sticker book has a lot of stickers that you could use even if you're not a mom. Even if you're just an adult, you could probably use these. Um, so I picked up this one. 
you know, like all of this, all of these. And my sister's a mom, so I'll probably just give her the mom ones to her. And then I picked up one of these colorful boxes ones. I have been eyeing this for a really long time. Like, since it came out, I, I told myself, I was like, I'm not going to pay to buy a colorful box sticker book because I can just make my own boxes, which is still true. I can still make my own boxes. But after a while, I was like, I just I just need to get them. Like, because I know I'm not going to take the time to make my own boxes. I mean, I will, but not not when you need one like right then and there you know so you guys are probably familiar with these i'm not even gonna flip through it that much but i got this one and then i also picked up the colorful boxes the second release of the colorful boxes i don't know i don't know exactly what it calls but this is like the more colorful one Alright you guys, that is it for this haul. That is all that I got from Michaels. I feel like I got more things, but maybe I'm thinking of something else. So yeah, I do have another haul that I need to film. It's a Target Dollar Spot haul, so look out for that. And then obviously my plan with me's will be back, like we'll be back to their normal schedule. Definitely by next week. Anyways, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys had a great new year and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.